Hello there, and welcome back to Vault Hunters. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I've been doing quite a few vaults off camera, as you can see by my level. But that means we have quite a few crates to open. Let's not waste any time. Let's see what we get. These are all bounty items, so I kind of knew what was on the table for me. I probably started with it, but we are down on gold again. And all of our completion crates. We want to try this again. Let's get an artifact. I'm not seeing one. We did get some rares. We could use the rares. Oh, wow, we got so many jewels. Wonder how many of them are going to be worth keeping. Nine. Nine of them are worth keeping. Plus all of these that we've accrued during our vault runs. And since I did build our other three relic pedestals and we have quite a few relic boosters, let's just pop them open now. See if we can't complete another relic. And our unidentified relic. Every single relic we just got, we already had. So we need the Rich D, we need the Warrior, we need the Dragon, and the Elementals. I think I heard if you turn in a relic you've already completed, you get a Sour Lemon. Should we test it out? See what happens? Um, hmm. No, we didn't get anything from that. We just wasted a pedestal and a couple relics. All right, well, let's see what our mystery box have in store for us. I was getting low on emeralds, but we also got a vault platinum. Oh, you know what? Let's save these mod boxes for about 30 seconds from now. Now, last episode, I asked what mod we should unlock next. We had the options of big backpacks, mechanism generators and mixtures. Well, we're up to 20 knowledge stars, so we could get two if we wanted to the big backpacks and the mixtures. But since we're at 20, I just need one more. And that is uh, only four knowledge shards away and we can get mixtures and mechanism generators. So let's just get generators going. Nice. Ooh, dark mecha. I'll have to check out those transmogs too. Let's see. Here's the light mecha. And here's the dark mecha. I actually think I like that dark mecha. Hmm. Is it worth spending our gold on it? Maybe not now. Not with a chest piece that's on its last repair. Next set, we'll make the mecha set. But now we can start working on mechanism generator. We need to build the reactor and the turbine. The turbine is what creates the power and the, the reactor is what creates the steam that powers the turbine. Smallest turbine you can make is I believe five by five by five. I'm going to do seven by seven by seven reactor and a seven by seven by 12 turbine. And I've been watching Klaus plays. He's got a uh, series on mechanism. It is for Minecraft 119, but the functions of mechanism are still the same, even though we're on 118 and he's on 119. So I do suggest watching it. He does go out uh, and explain what you need, where you need, how much you need. So I've got a list here of all the components I need. We're going to start working on it. I don't know exactly how much steel I'm going to need. So I just have a whole bunch of iron being enriched into enriched iron, which will then be enriched into steel, which will then be smelted into steel. All right, let's let's go start with the actual crafting. We're going to need a rotational complex. We just need one, but that is going to require more infused alloy and advanced control circuits, which are infused alloy plus basic control circuits and basic control circuits is chromatic steel plus infused Laramar. I feel like I need to make another infuser. <laughs> the structural glass requires, requires steel and glass. We can do that. I need 160. And we're out of glass. I was not prepared. Okay, let's flip on that switch and let's throw this switch for one two three four five six that should be six stacks of sand that won't go get smelted down into glass we'll be able to get back to working on the structural glass all right what about the turbine casing that's osmium and steel and we're going to require but well, we're going to need some to be turned into other stuff let's see the vents requires four casing and iron bars so that means we'll need to produce extra casings the valves require casings person this person needs an infused alloy we can make these i think no we well we can make one okay we can't do anything i'll be back when i can uh, assuming i did my math correctly we're going to need about 83 of these infused alloys and then we're going to need to make four of the basic circuits basics take 160 oh wow how much do these give 50 all right that's all of those and then we need 40 per 
there is a little bit left in there. So a full stack should be almost enough to get us all the infused alloy. So while that's running, we can look at our enrichment here, grab our lead, not lead, uh, tin. We toss in here that will convert down into tin dust, which we can then toss into our smelter to turn it into tin ingots. And when this is done, we'll come back and see if my math is correct or not. So we're going to create two of these and one of these. We only need one rotational complex. Next, we need eight rotors. We're going to need 16 blades, two blades per rotor. Pressure dispersers. We need 24. I'm probably going to run out of iron bars. Nope, I ran out of steel. That's why we are crafting up more. But if I'm running out now, we are going to need a lot more. Unfortunately, we can't craft any of this other stuff without steel, uh, except we could craft the buckets. So for the saturation condensers, I need 21, which means I need 21 buckets. 16, 20, 21. Oh, I should be able to make more glass. No, nope, I can't. I need to steal. <laughs> it's always something. Okay, where were we? Pressure dispensers, right? We need another 20 of them. Might help to put the steel into the crafting system. <laughs> and that's the end of that. Okay, iron. At least this is going to be much easier. We need four each, so... One, two. Well, you know, let's just do three stacks. That should be more than enough because I am going to need more in future crafts. So that's seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twenty-four. All right, this is the thing I made all the buckets for. We needed 21 and I put 21 buckets in. So I should be able to shift click and it gave me 32. I had no buckets. Okay, well, that's kind of a waste because those are used for absolutely nothing else. Next, we need four coils. For that, I need to make, need four of these. Let's make four of these. And we're just about out of steel again. We needed one more steel to make the last one of those. Right, we're gonna need a bunch of these vents. 61 vents, which are gonna require each. Yeah, we're gonna need a lot more steel because I don't have enough. Glass requires more steel. And the turbine casings require more steel. At least these give you four casings per four steel. I think I said I needed 65. I mean, 61 vents, I need 65, which means we need 130 casings just to make the turbines. All right, that's enough to make the vents. And here's the problem with mechanism. Once you start upgrading, you you just keep doing it. We're going to actually build two more fusers. Well, we've built them. We're then going to apply upgrades to each. And what we're going to do with these two is they're going to automatically eject to the right. And we'll put the smelter there. And so now what we can do, if we go back here and grab some iron, toss all three stacks into the infuser. And then we toss a set of 24 enriched carbon in here and these will automatically process down into the enriched iron. If we toss 24 carbon into this, as these finish, they'll automatically import into here, be processed into steel dust, and then get exported over here and crafted into steel. Okay, let's get away from the machines so we can get back to crafting. 138. That's 128. That's 140. And then we're going to make a few more structural glass. And we need to craft up. We need 160 total. And we're out once more. But now we at least have enough turbine bits that we can start building the turbine. And this is actually the perfect spot. It's 12 tall and we can come out seven blocks. Five, six, seven, three, four, five, six, seven.
I mean, you go 12 high, so that's uh, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And we got the roof right there. Find the middle. We place our rotor. It blocks up. We then put our rotational complex. Surround it with pressure dispensers. Yes. We put these on next, the coils. And then finish off this with the condensers. Then we fill in the sides here with vents. Next, we click on the turbine blades and we just need to click the bottom one and they will automatically fill up to the top. 132, 136, 140, and that should be 160. Oh, I still need to make the valves. Now, when I create the valves, I will be replacing two of these glass, but assuming we've done this correctly, when I place this last one, we should see red particles. There we go. It works. So that's the turbine. It is functional, although it has no steam currently. And as I said, I need to make these valves. Those require casings. All right, let's uh, go over here so I can actually access my grid. I made too many casings. I only needed two. So that will allow steam in and water out. And I will be moving those valves. They're just in those locations for now because when we put in the reactor over here, so the reactor will feed into the turbine. They'll feed steam in. And when the steam is condensed back into water, it will exit the turbine and go back into the reactor, making it a closed system. But we spent all these resources just making the turbine. Now we have to make the reactor. I did a bit of pre-crafting, so this should hopefully go a bit quicker. First, let's make our fusion assemblies. We need a chemical tank per one, and we need to make 52. So I made 52 chemical tanks already. And I am a little short on lead. Lead is spelt with an A. I have no more lead. Oh, that's going to be a problem because I need a lot of lead. Apparently, I did not prepare enough beforehand. Well, let's see. We also need to make up some advanced control circuits. And we need to make these advanced control circuits. We need 15 in total. We need to make 50 of these advanced uh, refined alloys. There goes most of my di uh, vault diamonds. And then we need to make. Did I not do what I thought I did? I either made too much of one or not enough of something. And as I said, now I gotta go find more lead before we can even make these fusion reactor casings. Because those take lead. And they take steel casings. And the reactor glass takes lead and enriched iron. Which we have. Oh, and I made up an advanced tier factory. So we can upgrade that. Now it's got five slots instead of only 
three. Does of course take up even more power now, but our current power supply is more than enough to meet the mid. Yeah, this hammer makes pretty quick work of down here. I found a ton of chromatic ore. We've got uh, this patch, this patch. Um, I know there's a third patch around here somewhere. One, two, three, right there. So, uh, I mean, not that I needed more chromatic ore, but I found a ton of it. And I don't know how much deep slate I've mined through, but let's see, 8,000 times five. 40,000 plus some found a ton of diamonds they're like everywhere diamonds there diamonds there 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 <laughs> but we really haven't found all that much lead I've got a hundred and thirty two four which will process down into 264 dust and then ingots I can I'm sorry I'm having a I'm having a think here I can vein mine them, crush them, and then smelt them. And that should give me more. Yeah. All right. We're going to do that. I finally finished my 10 by 10 cube of chromatic iron. And I have enough to make it even bigger. So let's aim for 11 by 11. Well, we didn't have enough to make it 11 by 11 by 11. So it's 11 by 11 by 10.4. Okay, so this is 11 by 11 by 10 plus 48. I do not have fortunate, so we only have fortune three. I wonder how much we're going to get. The answer is a lot. We have 721 already in storage before we start. And now we have 2,774, 2,153. And let's do the lead. Oh, crushing it doesn't guarantee it uh, doesn't give a chance for a second drop. So no point crushing it. But if we enrich it, we can get three turned into four. Remember when I said I made too many vents? I did not. Um, I was just rewatching the tutorial and I made a crucial mistake. I covered the top in casing. You're supposed to cover the top in vents. There we go. Now I still have one extra casing, but that's better than having 26 extra casings. And now I don't have to worry about anything going wrong with this. Still need to figure out how I'm supposed to get the power out. I'll figure that out later. And now that we have plenty of lead, let's finish crafting this up. That's the control rod assemblies and the fission fuel assemblers. We need four ports going to require casings. And next we're going to require reactor glass. This requires enriched iron as opposed to steel. And we're going to need a hundred in total. And I put a hundred enriched iron in. I've got more enriched iron than I thought I did. Okay. Well, I need a hundred. 90... There we go. That's a hundred. I'm not being dumb. Yep, that's a hundred. 118 reactor casings. 
Okay, I need 29 obsidian, uh, ob osmium blocks. 54 steel blocks. Not enough. Where's that enriched? All right, craft that down. While I'm waiting on that, let's craft up as many of those as possible. 16. What did I not have enough of? Chromatic steel. That's easy enough. And while that's crafting up, let's start building the reactor. Same as with turbine. It's going to be a seven by seven base. I can start filling in these sides right now with glass because it doesn't matter. And then let's build these fuel assemblers. So we want them not like that. Every other space. each off with a control rod uh, assembly. Let's put a port up there because that will input there. Port down there. Yeah, let's do that. There's one other block I can craft. It's a redstone controller. Not sure its exact name. There you go. It's the Fusion Reactor Logic Adapter. Boy, it's a tongue twister. We're going to want to craft up one of those. And that way the reactor will be able to turn itself on and off based on redstone signals and, you know, the usual. And making up the last two. There we go. That should be everything. Oh, that was unfortunate. I just like the turbine. I was expecting red particles. There we go. And now it is, well, now it can work. We need to pump it full of water. Let's hook up one of these to, let's uh, just move these now. That one there and put that one there. So we'll have the steam go that way and the 
water go back in this way. And I do need, well, we're going to probably cut it here because we're not ready to start crafting the fuel to actually power this. And I need to run upstairs and get some tools to reconfigure everything. But that can wait till next episode. Until then, I hope you've had a wonderful day. I hope you've enjoyed and I hope to see you next time. Later.